Hey, what's going on guys? I've been tagged by Kevin, the screen killer. And this is going to be the video about which knife you would like to carry. And uh, it could be for whatever reason that you do not carry it. It could be because it's illegal to carry it or it's your grill knife and you don't want to get it dirty or damage it. So whatever knife you would like to carry but you don't carry for whatever reason and I uh, have a couple knives that I do not carry because they are illegal in Texas and Texas state law is that you cannot carry uh, automatic knives uh, spears, swords, a bowie knife or a dagger so any automatic knife is out of the question spring assist is okay and uh, a spear or a dagger is any knife that is double edged here's a knife that I bought back when it was legal for me to carry technically it probably still is legal but uh, you need a military ID to carry it which I do but it's expired so uh, I bought this back in 2007 on my birthday in March I carried it for a couple years till my military ID expired and I uh, stopped carrying it I do carry it every now and then when I know I'm not gonna be getting into trouble maybe just to show it to some friends or you know just to carry it around Still got the factory edge on it from the first day I bought it. And this is also considered a dagger because it's double edged for penetration, for stabbing. The knife was meant for stabbing, so it's illegal in that. It's an automatic, push button automatic, and the fact that it's a dagger blade. So. You got that? This is a Microtech Trodon. Yep. I actually had placed an order for the Nothing Fancy Microtech Ultratech that was out last week. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why I ordered a knife that, uh, it's not legal to carry. And then the other knife or object that I would like to carry but is illegal to carry is this thing right here. This is a throwing star which obviously looks like, like a spider or a black widow. Now imagine if I threw this in the wicked edge and put a razor sharp edge on all four corners how awesome this would be I mean it's actually razor sharp I bought it razor sharp you see the edge where it's sharpened at all four corners it's pretty cool it's real thin strong uh, I think this would be one of my last choice uh, self-defense items. It's real easy to conceal, carry, you could put it anywhere. You could probably put it in your wallet, you wouldn't know it's there. But when it came time to needing to use it, I mean you couldn't miss. You could, you could do some real, real stuff with this thing. So since the state of Texas, it's also illegal to carry any throwing knives. It states any, uh, any objects that is meant to be thrown. Let's see, what is the exact? Hand instrument designed to cut or stab another by being thrown. So anything that is designed to be thrown to injure somebody is illegal. 
to carry that is here's another thing I would probably carry if it weren't illegal is a throwing knife I've gotten pretty good at throwing knives when I was a teenager when I didn't have much to do living out in the country I would practice on trees I mean the basics of throwing a knife are I would pretty much get a, a distance that I was good at around 20 feet and I would throw it the exact same way every time and that's how you'd get the get the knife to stick in the tree every time and then I would go in increments of five feet and you'd have to uh, either grab it by a different part of the blade or reverse grip and throw it so I would probably carry, carry a throwing knife if it weren't illegal along with the throwing star Well, that's all I have that I wish I could carry, and I wish it wasn't illegal to carry. Uh, I don't really buy many knives anymore that are illegal, or I can't carry. But, some knives that I do carry, and I like to carry, are my Omnumzon. And, uh course my benchmate emissary goes with me every day and probably the Manix in M4 steel that goes with me sometimes I don't carry it as much now because uh, it's tangy 10 and I work with grease oil and a bunch of dirty stuff every day and I don't like getting it dirty I need to get a black G10 scales for that if I want to carry it like my Skyline. See, even though it's black G10, it still gets really dirty from the grease and paint. Because you know, I work with wet paint and greasy parts all day. Well, that is pretty much it. I'm not sure who I'm going to tag back. I uh, looked at Jay Davis's videos and I didn't see that anybody tagged him yet. And also my buddy CBR600RR Turbo. I'd like to see what what he's got, what he his input would be on this. All right, Jay Davis, uh, John, if you have any input on this, you can. Feel free to do this as, as well. I'm sure there's many people that have tagged you already. But uh, I'd be interested to see what, what your input is as well. Because I know you have a lot of knives. And uh, I bet the knife that you don't carry is probably your grill knife or a knife that you that has a high value and you do not want to uh, damage it in any way or use it to reduce its value because I haven't seen you with any illegal knives on your channel yet I'm sure there might be I just didn't see any recently alright guys this is Modified signing out I will see you guys in the next video and have a happy 4th of July. Get out there and watch some fireworks or light some off. Maybe fire off a few blanks. Or if you live out in the desert mountains, go out there and fire off some, some tracers. Have some fun. Be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.